Welcome back to County Line Sports. I'm your host, Bill Downing. On the phone, we have Dan DeVow. He is the ticketing sales director for your Muskegon Lumberjacks. And, Dan, welcome back to the show. Hey, Bill. Thanks so much for having me. I'm uh, super excited to be a part of your show. I tell you, last week was fun. You know, we had Military Appreciation Night on Friday and then Faith Night on Saturday. And, you know, together with the two nights, you know, we brought in over 6,000 fans into the LC Walk Arena to see some pretty exciting hockey and also be a part of some pretty special events. That's for sure, Bill. It was a great weekend. It was such a joy to see all the people that came down to the L.C. Walker Arena to support our military on Friday night, uh, to support the Jacks on Saturday night. They had a great time with our Faith and Family event. The Red Kettle kickoff for the Salvation Army was fantastic. Uh, back to Friday, that military appreciation game was just something really special mm-hmm. to me, Bill. Mm-hmm. Our military, our veterans, uh, they mean so much. I'm so grateful for their service. And it was just a great evening. It, it brought a lot of joy. It was a lot of hard work, but I'll tell you, Bill, it brought one of the biggest smiles to my face in, in my two-year career here with the Lumberjacks. It, it was so much fun to see the veterans interacting and uh, enjoying a great game of hockey. And to top it off, I mean, we beat the top team in our division. We knocked mm-hmm. them down to second place that right. night uh, in the Dubuque Fighting Saints. So it was a great weekend. Saturday, the the score wasn't in our favor, but it was still overall. Mm-hmm. Uh, the team played well. And, and attendance was fantastic. So it was a great weekend all around. Yeah, at the end of the uh, military appreciation night, I know that they auctioned off the uh, jerseys the Lumberjacks were wearing, and I can tell you some of the numbers that I heard for each jersey was pretty astronomical, so a lot of money was raised. Absolutely. It was uh, just a great night. People uh, showed their appreciation for our military by opening up their wallets, opening up their uh, their hearts to you know, want to invest in that. And right. that was special to me. And, and yes, I, I know for a fact, uh, you know, between the ticket sales and uh, the the money that came in from uh, the auction and the jerseys, mm-hmm. uh, there's going to be a, a nice check written back to the Veterans Administration here in, in Muskegon. And, and I'm very happy to be a part of it. Uh, exact figures will be coming in later today. Uh, but uh, we're just super right. excited to be able to give back on that uh, that spectacular event. Absolutely. Well, when you look at what's happening and what has happened and what is going to happen at the LC Walk Arena with the Muskegon Lumberjacks uh, this Friday and Saturday, you know, Black Friday is Saturday, but you know what? Get your shopping done early. Come on out to the LC Walk Arena on Friday and Saturday, especially Friday night. Uh, uh, you got your Tri-City Storm coming in, and they're also coming back on Saturday night, and it looks like we got some pretty big events. Uh, looks like Dollar Hot Dogs and, and Dollar Bud Selects on a Friday, but Saturday night's a really, really special night that usually brings out a ton of fans. Yes. Um, so Friday night, you know, like Bill said, get your shopping done early. Uh, get over your turkey hangover. Come down, <laughs> spend a great night with the Jacks. We're going to help you recover from your Black Friday spending a little bit with the dollar beer, dollar hot dogs that Bill talked about. And we've just got a a great night of hockey. You know, feel free to call me. Bring more than one friend. Bring bring five or more. Bring your family down. I'll get you a great family discount. So you can call me here at the arena. I'm, I'm glad to do that for you. In addition to that, on Saturday, it's it's a Red Wings night. We're doing it earlier in the season this year, mm-hmm. uh, but it's still going to be a fantastic night. There's going to be uh, different prize packages, Red Wing-themed prizes that we're giving away, mm-hmm. and uh, just a great night to watch the Lumberjacks. Come, come support them. Watch them bring us home a victory against Tri-City. Yeah, absolutely, and when you look at everything that you guys do, you guys are always busy. We had a new game this last week. Uh, it was uh, human beings inside these huge plastic balls playing hockey out on the uh, uh, ice uh, on the rink and that was hilarious I mean the, the, the games keep everybody ready to go I mean you, you got the t-shirt toss the towel tosses you got so many things happening there's no time for the fans to uh, take a break and I think that's what they like because the 
the price of the ticket and what they get for it is more bang for the buck. And I, and I tell you, you guys do a great job, Dan, on uh, treating the fans very, very well uh, down there at the LC Walk Arena with the Muskegon Lumberjacks. Now, one of the things I know that is near and dear to everybody's heart, especially this time of year, uh, we got the teddy bear tosses coming up. And I know it's not this weekend, but it is coming up in December. It's a really special event. Uh, do we need to get as many teddy bears to the LC Walk Arena as possible? Uh, let the listeners in on exactly why I'm saying we need to have teddy bears there and what happens with them. Yes, sir, Bill. This is uh, one of my favorite nights of, of the whole season, Teddy Bear Toss. And, and believe it or not, it's it's only a week from uh, coming up mm-hmm. in another week after this weekend. Teddy Bear Toss is December 5th. And everybody that's 13 and under brings in a new teddy bear. They get in complimentary mm-hmm. with just bringing in the teddy bear. So the exciting part about the teddy bear is after the Lumberjacks score their first goal of the game, everybody tosses those teddy bears out onto the ice. Mm-hmm. It's such a neat thing to see these big old teddy bears raining down from you know all parts <laughs> of the arena. Sometimes they get caught up in the nets on right. the back and seeing the guys come down and knock those down with their sticks. And then they go collecting them into these uh, big cans. And, Bill, we give them away to the less fortunate kids here in, in the Muskegon and, and West Michigan area. Mm-hmm. You know, These kids might not get any other present besides these teddy bears. So this is just a, a great evening for us. And uh, we want you guys to come down, bring the teddy bear, little kids, bring in the teddy bear, get in a free ticket, and uh, just come have a great night with us. Yeah, it is something pretty special because, you know, uh, we, we are very fortunate to have what we have, and there are people out there that are less fortunate uh, that we would like to uh, help out and put a smile on these kids' faces uh, during the holiday season because uh, uh, that right there is priceless. You know, the fact that the, the teddy bear is being tossed and you know they're going to go to kids. And then to see the pictures of their faces just uh, brings a tear to your eye, knowing that uh, you did something very, very uh, very, very nice and kind, and that's something that's going to last in a memory for these kids forever. And I tell you, you guys do a great job on taking care of the community. And uh, I just I applaud you guys for what you do. There's a ton of things coming up. You've got the car load night. You've got the uh, ugly sweater night coming up. You've got the New Year's Eve celebration before we start uh, to. 2016. There's something always going on, and you can find out all this information, I believe, Dan, on your website, MuskeganLumberjacks.com. You, promotions. They've got kids clubs, too. They get, we need to get kids out there and involved in this kids club deal, too, at the LC Walk Arena with the Lumberjacks. Yes, that's that's fantastic. We want as many kids to come down and experience the excitement of the Lumberjacks hockey. In addition to the kids club, I mean, we have birthday party packages, mm-hmm. very reasonable birthday party packages starting at $110. That includes a hot dog and a soda and 10 tickets. You know, just come on down, bring your kids out, have a great night, something that'll make a memory for them. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's what we're all about is creating family memories here with the Muskegon Lumberjacks. And uh, to your point, with all these, these exciting promo nights coming up, Bill, mm-hmm. uh, it is truly the most wonderful time of the year. I mean, we have the holidays here right around the corner. And I can't believe that just here in a few short weeks, we are going to have all of these events, the yeah. Ugly Sweater Night, which is our Christmas game. And mm-hmm. uh, Salvation Army is part partnered up with us for that game and there are ugly sweater jerseys that are <laughs> absolutely hideous uh, but they're they're so funny uh, that it's going to be a great night right. and there's going to be an auction post game for that and that's going to benefit uh, youth programs for the Salvation Army, heating programs, and, mm-hmm. uh, of course, their food pantry. Right. Uh, then, you know, we go into, you mentioned the car load night. We decided that this year during the holidays we wanted to have a Tuesday night game, give you and the kids something to do while they're out of school, mm-hmm. getting those winter blahs out of the way. Come on down for car load night. It's $40 for a car load. I don't care if you bring a semi-truck full of people, uh, a bus full of people. Run a U-Haul. Bring your friends in the back of a U-Haul. Forty dollars gets you all in. Right. And then on uh, Thursday, December thirty-first, of course, Bill. I can't believe we're talking about it already. But yes, that's New Year's Eve celebration. It's going to be a fantastic night. We're going to ring in the New Year with the Jacks. And uh, right down here in downtown Muskegon, it's going to be a, a phenomenal evening for you to come check out. It is. You guys are all over social media too. They can always find out uh, what's happening down at the LC Walk Arena and so forth. Now, if someone wanted to get a hold of you to. Get you know, take part in a kids club or get part maybe uh, maybe get a suite for a night or get some group tickets. How do they get a hold of you, Dan? 
Yeah, if you want to get a hold of me directly, I'm at extension 256 down here at the arena. The phone number is 724-5225, and that's a 231 area code. But we also have Chris Benedict and Ryan Miner and Ben Ackland. All of us are willing to help you. We'd love to have you come down here. We're excited. Uh, we love to see smiles on our fans' faces when they come down here. Mm-hmm. And uh, to Bill's point, a suite would make a wonderful holiday party for you and your business. Come on down. It's a great uh, setting, a little intimate, so you guys can you know, talk together, just ring in the holidays in a special way here down at the L.C. Walker Arena. Well, I tell you, Dan, you do a heck of a job. Uh, Your efforts are greatly appreciated by the community and everybody that uh, you assist. And I tell you, you, my friend, you do a great job in what you do, and and you keep people coming back. And I couldn't appreciate that more, especially, you know, with my kids and uh, so forth, the way that you you treat everybody, you know, especially my family uh, when they come in. And I I tell you, it's it's really nice to know that, you know, I can come there and and feel like, you know, we're amongst family and friends. And uh, it's a great environment, and I appreciate everything you do, Dan. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Bill. I really do. It's it's easy for me uh, when you're passionate about something and you really care mm-hmm. uh, to put your heart and soul into it. And when you talk about family, I mean, I've developed so many friendships here, uh, you know, through our season ticket holders, group holders that come in. I'll see them out in different places in West Michigan. I've seen them up at Silver Lake when I'm out there camping. And uh, just, you know, it's it's really great to say, hey, there's the lumberjack guy. Or, hey, Dan, you know, just come up and talk to me. I, I, I love the people. I love seeing the smiles on the kids' faces. And, and that's what drives me. Right. You know, if you're not having a good time, I'm not having a good time. And uh, I want you to have the best time available. And, again, creating those family memories, creating the friendships between you and me and the fans. And, and just having an excellent, fun time down here at the LC and checking out some jack hockey and, and being entertained. And, you know, it, it's kind of like the family reunion you actually want to go to. Right. Well, I, I tell you, I, I enjoy coming there and I enjoy the environment. Again, Dan Duvall, he is the uh, sales and ticketing director for your Muskegon Loverjacks of the United States Hockey League. Big games coming up this weekend against Tri-City Storm. Uh, dollar Beer, Dollar Dog Nights on Friday, Red Wings Night on Saturday, and Coming up on December 5th, the big bad teddy bear toss. You know, we'll get more on that next week. But, uh, again, uh, happy holidays to you, Dan, and uh, thank you for everything you do. We'll talk to you next week. Well, thanks so much again, Bill. Happy Thanksgiving to all of my friends up there, and uh, thank you so much for your support. No problem, Dan. You take care. Thank you. All right, that's Dan Duvall. He is the sales ticketing director for your Muskegon Lumberjacks. We'll be right back with more Common Line Sports right after this.